The internet, a ubiquitous presence in modern life, we rely on it for everything, communication, commerce, even survival. But what happens when this digital bedrock crumbles? Cyber attacks, once the stuff of science fiction, are now a clear and present danger. These attacks target the very infrastructure that underpins our digital lives, threatening to bring society to a grinding halt. Imagine a day without internet access. No news, no social media, no online banking. For many, it's an inconvenience. But for some, it's a catastrophe. The recent cyber attack on US telecom networks is a chilling reminder of our digital vulnerability. Hackers, using a sophisticated malware-infested firmware update, managed to disrupt internet services for millions. This attack wasn't just a technical marvel, it was a calculated assault on our way of life. It exposed the fragility of our digital infrastructure and the devastating consequences of its failure. The attack underscored the need for robust cybersecurity measures, particularly for critical infrastructure. This incident is a wake-up call. It highlights the importance of cybersecurity awareness and preparedness. Governments and organizations need to invest in robust security measures to protect against these evolving threats. Individuals, too, have a role to play. By staying informed about potential risks and adopting safe online practices, we can collectively strengthen our defenses against future attacks. The internet is a powerful tool, but like any tool, it can be used for good or evil. Our collective responsibility is to ensure that the internet remains a force for good. We must work together to build a more secure and resilient digital future. A future where cyber attacks are not a question of if, but when and how well we are prepared. The internet has become an indispensable part of our lives, and its security is paramount. We must act now to protect it. The alternative is unthinkable. The recent cyber attack targeted a fundamental element of the internet, the domain name system, DNS. The DNS is essentially the internet's phone book. It translates human-readable website names like example.com comma into numerical IP addresses that computers understand. By compromising the DNS, attackers can redirect internet traffic, effectively cutting off access to websites and online services. In this particular attack, hackers exploited a vulnerability in network equipment used by several major telecom providers. They injected malicious code into firmware updates, which are software instructions embedded in hardware devices. These updates, often downloaded automatically, gave the attackers a backdoor into the telecom networks. Once inside, they were able to manipulate DNS settings, redirecting internet traffic to servers under their control. The impact was immediate and widespread. Millions of users across the United States experienced internet outages and disruptions, websites became inaccessible, online services went offline and communication networks ground to a halt. The attack highlighted the vulnerability of our interconnected world, demonstrating how a single point of failure can have cascading effects across the entire digital ecosystem. The sophistication and scale of the attack were unprecedented. It demonstrated the evolving capabilities of cybercriminals and the growing threat they pose to critical infrastructure. The incident served as a stark reminder that cybersecurity is not just a technical issue, but a national security imperative. It underscored the need for greater investment in cybersecurity research, infrastructure, and workforce development. The attacker's weapon of choice was a zero-day exploit, a previously unknown vulnerability in software or hardware. Zero-day exploits are particularly dangerous because they exploit vulnerabilities that security researchers and software developers are unaware of, leaving systems defenseless against attack. In this case, the zero-day exploit allowed the attackers to bypass security measures and inject their malicious code into the firmware updates. The use of a weaponized firmware update was a stroke of malicious brilliance. Firmware updates are generally considered trustworthy and are often downloaded automatically by devices. This trust was exploited by the attackers, allowing them to deliver their malware payload directly into the heart of the telecom networks. Once the malicious firmware was installed, the attackers had complete control over the affected devices, allowing them to manipulate network traffic and disrupt internet services. This attack highlights the growing threat of supply chain attacks, where attackers target the software and hardware that underpins critical infrastructure. By compromising the integrity of these components, attackers can gain access to sensitive networks and systems, bypassing traditional security measures. The increasing complexity of global supply chains, 
makes it difficult to track the origin and security of every component, creating opportunities for attackers to exploit vulnerabilities. The attack underscores the need for a multi-layered approach to cybersecurity, one that addresses both the technical and human elements of risk. Organizations need to implement strong security measures including network segmentation, intrusion detection systems, and regular security audits. They also need to educate their employees about cybersecurity best practices such as recognizing phishing emails and avoiding suspicious links. Section 4. Lumen Technologies – First on the Scene Lumen Technologies, a leading telecom provider, played a crucial role in mitigating the impact of the cyber attack. Their security team was among the first to detect the unusual activity on their network. They quickly identified the malicious firmware updates and moved to contain the threat. Their swift action prevented the attack from spreading further and minimized the disruption to their customers. Lumen's security team worked tirelessly to analyze the malware and develop a patch to fix the vulnerability. They collaborated with other telecom providers and cybersecurity experts to share information and coordinate their response efforts. Their transparency and willingness to share information helped to improve the industry's overall security posture. Lumen's quick thinking and decisive actions serve as a model for other organizations facing similar threats. This attack highlights the importance of a robust incident response plan. Organizations need to have a clear understanding of their critical assets, potential threats, and response procedures. They need to conduct regular security assessments and exercises to test their defenses and ensure their team is prepared to handle a real-world incident. A well-rehearsed incident response plan can mean the difference between a minor disruption and a catastrophic outage. Lumen's experience demonstrates the importance of investing in cybersecurity talent and technology. A skilled security team, equipped with the right tools and resources, can make all the difference in detecting, responding to, and recovering from cyber attacks. As cyber threats continue to evolve, organizations need to prioritize cybersecurity as a core business function. Section 5, Collateral Damage, The Rural Divide While the cyber attack impacted internet users nationwide, rural and underserved communities were disproportionately affected. These communities often rely on a limited number of internet providers and have less access to backup options like mobile hotspots. The internet outage caused significant disruptions to essential services, including healthcare, education, and emergency services. In many rural areas, schools were forced to close because they could not access online learning platforms. Hospitals and clinics struggled to share patient data and coordinate care. Businesses were unable to process transactions or communicate with customers. The attack exposed the digital divide that exists between urban and rural communities, highlighting the need for greater investment in broadband infrastructure and digital equity. The attack also underscored the importance of community resilience. In the absence of internet access, neighbors helped neighbors. Libraries and community centers became makeshift internet cafes, providing free Wi-Fi access. Local businesses stepped up to offer support to those affected by the outage. The incident highlighted the strength and resilience of rural communities in the face of adversity. The cyber attack on U.S. telecom networks was a wake-up call for the nation. It exposed the vulnerability of our digital infrastructure and the disproportionate impact of cyber attacks on rural and underserved communities. It underscored the need for greater investment in cybersecurity, broadband infrastructure, and digital equity. Section 6. Building a More Resilient Future the cyber attack on U.S. telecom networks was a stark reminder of our collective vulnerability in the digital age, but it also offered valuable lessons that can help us build a more resilient future. First and foremost, we need to prioritize cybersecurity as a national security imperative. This requires increased investment in research and development, workforce training, and infrastructure improvements. We need to move beyond a reactive approach to cybersecurity and adopt a more proactive and holistic strategy. Second, we need to address the digital divide that leaves rural and underserved communities more vulnerable to cyber attacks. This includes expanding access to affordable broadband internet, promoting digital literacy, and supporting local initiatives that enhance community resilience. By bridging the digital divide, we can create a more inclusive and equitable digital society. 
Third, we need to foster a culture of cybersecurity awareness and collaboration. This includes educating individuals and businesses about cybersecurity best practices, promoting information sharing between government agencies and private industry, and encouraging international cooperation to address the global nature of cyber threats. Cybersecurity is a shared responsibility, and we all have a role to play in building a more secure and resilient digital future. The Internet has become an indispensable part of our lives, connecting us in ways we could have never imagined just a few decades ago. But this interconnectedness also brings new vulnerabilities. By learning from the cyber attacks of today, we can build a more secure and resilient digital future for all. The challenge is significant, but the stakes are too high to ignore.